Yes, we know this all. All of us know this as a it's our favorite jinxed set. We shot three videos of this. And then they all got binned. Two got binned in process. Third one got binned later on because it was not good. Then we jumped it. And then after a long while, we shot one more video. That didn't work. So we finally fixed everything. But the answer was wrong. We fixed it, reinterpreted it. And then shot a video. Now the PPT was right. The solution was right. The video turned out to be fine. And then the wrong video got uploaded. Obviously, because you have five copies. And then we thought we'll fix that and upload the right video. By which time the right video had got deleted. And so I think we can all agree that if it doesn't fall in place today, then then with this we are done. We are not trying anymore. We'll basically say this set is not meant to be. It doesn't like us. Fine. XYZ organization. XYZ organization got in the business of delivering groceries to home at the beginning of the last month. Last month beginning, they started this. They have a two-day delivery promise. However, their deliveries are unreliable. They must be a startup. And an order book on a particular day may be delivered the next day or the day after. Nice. If the order is not delivered at the end of two days, then the order is declared as lost at the end of the second day. Not delivered, then declared as lost. XYZ then does not deliver the order, thank God. But informs the customer, marks the order as lost, returns the payment and pays a penalty for non-delivery. Lovely. So, they are um, not particularly efficient startup, but um, well funded. Right. So, the following table provides details about the operations of XYZ for a week of the last month. The first column gives the date. The second gives the cumulative number of orders that were booked up to and including that day. The third column represents the number of orders delivered on that day. The last column gives the cumulative number of orders that were lost up to and including that day. I'm not, I'm not able to register and hold on to much of this. I think it will all make a little bit more sense once we see the table. Once we see the table, then it, it makes sense. Till then, we have nothing going. So, some two more sentences, but I want to look at the table first. Fine. So, 13, 14 till 19th, cumulative orders booked till that date. Orders delivered on that day. Cumulative orders lost till that day. Fine. So, I don't like this cumulative business. If cumulative till 13th is this much, cumulative till 14th is this much, we can find the 14th number. Fine. What we are also told is orders booked on 13th are delivered on 14th and 15th. The day after or the day after that. Next day or the day after that. Then mark as lost at the end of the, if this is n, they delivered on n plus 1, n plus 2. And then at the end of n plus 2, mark as lost. It is known that the numbers of orders that were booked on 11th, 12th and 13th of the last month that took 2 days to deliver were 4, 6 and 8 respectively. Booked on 11th, 12th, 13th. I think that will come to that. We'll come to that. We want to fill this out first. Right? First of all, I don't like to deal with the cumulative numbers. So let's go to what was order booked on each day. In order booked on each day, if we fill that, 249 minus 219, this would be 30. 277 minus 249, 28. This is 25. 25. 5. 5. Orders lost. 92 minus 91. 1, 2, 12. 12, 2, 9. These are the orders lost on the day. And these are the orders booked on the day, not orders delivered on the day. Whatever is booked on this day is delivered on this day and then this. Booked on this day is delivered here and here and then marked as lost here. And if it is not delivered, that is. We filled all of this in. Nice, juicy, straightforward. Now let's go. We've done all this orders of the day delivered eventually. How do I find that? So orders booked on the day is this. And then orders lost on the day is this. Remember what is lost on this date is not the order booked on this date. Order booked on any one day is marked as lost after this attempt and this attempt marked as lost here. So the 14th order booked on 14th will be tried on 15 and 16 and then marked as lost at the end of 16th. Whatever is here is going to be marked as lost here. Whatever is here is going to be marked as lost here. What shape I don't have yet. Nice oval. This one is going to be marked as lost here. Or we have orders booked on the day. We have orders for the day that were eventually marked as lost. Or we can find out orders of the day that were delivered, not orders delivered on the day. 
But there are two quantities here. If you look at 14th of the month, there could have been a bunch of orders delivered on 14th. There could have been a bunch of orders delivered, booked on 14th. Booked and delivered. That is simple. Delivered on 14th, booked on 14th. Booked on 14th and eventually delivered on 15th or 16th. That is booked but not lost for 14th. That we can track. Let's track that. Why should we not keep an eye on that? That is quite simple. 30 minus 12. 28 minus 12. 25 minus 2. 23. 25 minus 9. 16. And so orders for 14th were 30, of which 18 were delivered, 12 were lost. This 18 were delivered on this date, this date. This 16 delivered on here, and here. This 23 here and here. This 16 here and here. That much we know. Now let's come to that final nugget, this one. It is known that the number of orders that were booked on 11th, 12th and 13th that took two days to deliver are 4, 6 and 8. So 11th, it will take two days, it will be delivered on 13th. 12th, if it takes two days, it will be delivered on 14th. 13th, if it takes two days, it will be delivered on 23rd. The orders delivered on 13th will be 11th orders and 12th orders. 11th orders were 4. The remaining 7 should have been the orders booked for 12th. 6 plus 21. 8 plus 15. Just filling in the numbers. Right? This is the orders booked on 11th. This is the orders booked on 12th. Orders of 12th, orders of 13th. Orders of 13th, orders of 14th. Now, this tells us straight away, orders for 12th that were delivered on 13th is 7, delivered on 14th is 6, or 7 plus 6, 13 were delivered eventually, or this number for 12th, this number is 13. Orders for 12th that were delivered is 13, 7 plus 6. Orders for 13th that were delivered is 21 plus 8, 29. We can fill that in because we know what was delivered and orders on 11th here that were eventually fulfilled one is this four but a bunch of orders for 11th would have been delivered on 12th we don't have that number so we can't fill this in these two we can fill okay. lovely so let's fill that also 13 and 29 now what else can we fill we've already seen this is 11th and 12th orders 12th and 13th orders 13th and 14th orders and so orders for 14th that were delivered on 15th that is 15 of them orders of 14th that were delivered is 18 of this 18 15 were delivered the next day or three more were delivered the subsequent day of this 11 three are here the remaining eight should be here this is orders of 14th orders of 15th same process we can extend this for 15th, 16 orders were delivered. 8 were delivered on n plus 1. The remaining 8 have to be here. So this becomes 8 plus 13. This orders for 15th, orders for 16th. Again, same process. This 8 plus 8 is 16. Now we can go and take this 23. Of this 23, 13 were delivered the first day. That means 10 would have been delivered the subsequent day. This is 10, should be plus 3. Lovely. So, of the 16, 3 were delivered on this day. Remaining 13 should come here. Plus 1. So, 15th and 16th orders, 16th and 17th orders, 17th and 18th orders. So, 17th orders, 13 of them, 18th orders, 1 would have been delivered. Lovely. So, we fill this out. We fill this out as much as possible. Let's see those numbers as well. So far, so good. Now, let's see this. Orders delivered eventually, 29 and 13. Orders delivered eventually for 13th. Whatever was booked, 29 were delivered. 21 was delivered on 14th. 8 were delivered on 15th. Brilliant. How many were booked? So, 21 were delivered on, on 14th. 8 were delivered on 15th. And then 2 were marked as lost at the end of 15th. That means what should have been booked here is 31. 29 plus 2. Same idea. This is 13. Of this 13, 7 were delivered on n plus 1. 6 were delivered on n plus 2. 1 was marked as lost at the end of that. So how many should have been booked? 14. 13 plus 1, 14. So we managed to fill out that as well. 
so 14 so on the 12th 14 orders were booked of these 14 13 were delivered the 13 were delivered as 7 plus 6 7 on the next day 6 on n plus 2 on 13th 31 orders were booked of these 31 29 were delivered as 21 and 8 on that day 11 were delivered 4 from our 11th tally 7 from our 12th tally and then so on completely filling this right? so we've got this beautiful grid each day we can find out what's happening let's see what where the questions take us among the following days the largest fraction of orders booked on which day was lost largest fraction that was lost I'm talking about 13th 14th 15th 16th largest fraction lost uh, 13th what were 13th we lost 2 fraction lost is 2 by 31 14th we lost 12 12 by 30 15th again we lost 12 12 by 28 16 lost only 2 2 by 25 13 14 15 16 these two are very small between 12 by 30 and 12 by 28 12 by 28 is larger the largest fraction of orders was lost on 15th we lost 12 out of 28 orders which of the following days were the number of orders booked the highest again 12 13 14 15 this is the four days number of orders booked were the highest 12 this 14 13 14 15 this is the highest 31 orders were booked on 13th that is the highest 31 orders the delivery for a given day is defined as the ratio of the number of orders booked on that day which are delivered on the next day to the number of orders booked on that day which are delivered on the second day of booking i book on n n plus 1 deliveries by n plus 2 deliveries n plus 1 by n plus 2 that's what i want to do the delivery ratio which day was the highest which is the best day delivery wise fine what is very interesting is in conveniently ignoring lost deliveries which i find very unusual i find it very annoying when they divide ratios defined ratios like this several companies and vendors and apps and rating they all do this so that it becomes very convenient they can showcase good numbers if this is done then the, the guy who's in charge of delivery ratio instead of delivering it on the second day he'll thank it and pay the fine because he doesn't want this n plus 2 number to become too large so n plus 2 if it doesn't get delivered it gets tanked it goes as delivery lost that gets paid for there's a separate account for that and so so i'm not happy with the ratio definition but there's not a time to complain about that we just need to define n plus 1 by n plus 2 deliveries find that and so 13th 14th 15th and 16th let's look at this 13th 14th 15th and 16th so this is delivers on 11th and 12th 12th and 13th 13 and 14, 14 and 15, 15 and 16, 16 and 17. The orders booked on 13th would have been delivered on 14 and 15. The ratio of 14 deliveries to 15. This is we're looking at 21 by 8. For 14, we're looking at 15 by 3. Oh my god, that is 5. I think we have a winner here. Let's look at 15th. 15th would be 8 by 8. That doesn't work. 8 by 8. 16 is 13 by 10. My head and shoulders above the rest. 14 to Sarah answer. 15 by 3. The average time taken to deliver orders booked on a particular day is computed as follows. Let the number of orders delivered the next day be X. The number of orders delivered the day after be Y. The average time to deliver orders is X plus 2Y by x plus y on which of the following days was the average time taken to deliver orders booked the least so again what are we doing here we are ignoring orders lost we are worrying only about what was actually delivered this is the weighted average x into 1 plus y into 2 by x plus y we want it to be as low as possible or think about it we want the scenario where x is very high y is very small and so we want the delivery to be good the lower this is the better it is the higher proportion gets delivered on the first day immediate earlier day day one rather than day two when did that happen i'm, I'm guessing it'll be this 13 14 15 16 it again goes with just that ratio when so 15 is to 3 gigantic after 18 orders 15 get delivered on on day one only three on day two 
quest the previous last two questions are one and the same practically this is 15 is to 3 5 is to 1 so the ratio towards day 1 is so much higher vis a vis day 2 that will be the least look i'm taking a chance and marking 14 this is the right answer Gosh.